I'm starting to think some of our favorite rappers. Hmm. Hmm. The shit I'm seeing now. This is all a game. Our black rappers got to be thugs. Our black rappers got to have a gun on their waistband. They can't take their money and use it to take care of their neighborhood because they got to take their money to hire 30 of their homeboys to watch their back going to the goddamn Lennox Mall. Yeah. See, the country, the country singers and the R&B artists, they can walk around America a wreck like men. And they go build up their communities. We get a black rapper. We make them talking about killing black people. And these young black boys don't understand that this is just on wax. Back in the day, we used to say that all the time. Keep it on wax. Now these young boys with this video game mindset, they heard you say something on record. So they meeting you where you at. To play Grand Theft Auto in real life. Mm-hmm. So whether you make it or not, rapper, you still, with your money and your influence, you're going to cause more destruction than your black community than any KKK or white man can. Notice how everybody around you keep going to jail. Notice how everybody around you keep dying. Even when you make it, you lose. This is a game. We not free. Them white boys handing out trinkets to some of y'all and y'all are destroying every life around you. If you think you can rap, say something other than you gonna kill a nigga, pull up on a nigga, shoot a nigga, body a nigga, fuck a nigga up, got a pistol for a nigga, Draco for a nigga. Say anything other than that. Let's see if they like your contract. No other race of people are rapping up openly about killing each other as much as we are. They are using you rappers. They are using you rappers and your influence. I grew up in a trap house. What the fuck is there another goddamn trap house up for people to go walk in like this is a good goddamn thing? They are using you rappers. What did the devil use? Music. What does our music sound like? It sound like shit. It sound like death. It sound like destruction. It sound like prostitution. But boy, they got good jingles to them, boy. Every time throat babies come on the beat drop, I'd be like, God, mm. boom, boom, boom. The melody, boy, you get you get so caught up in it. Uh, uh, uh. You just get to rocking, but listen to what they saying. This is a game. You only make it if you're going to blaze a trail of destruction behind you. And when they find out, when they bring you in them rooms, just like Faison Love said, they know you're a bitch ass nigga. This was his words. He said they listen to you. They talk to you. And listen how condescending all of them sound. Look how arrogant all of them sound. Black folks that's connected to something, we didn't talk down on each other like that. You tried to help build one up. Yeah, the ones that didn't want to listen, the one that just want to jump on like a chick for a ride. No, you cuss their ass out because we all got to work. Excuse me, but you at least try. Now we got a bunch of males know that they protected like women talking with effeminate tongues. Now they so openly effeminate talking about sucking dick on TV. I want you rappers to stand up. When they ask you to rap about killing, when they bring you in an interview and ask you, what did you do for a living? Don't tell them you sold no goddamn drugs. Tell them you went to school and read a goddamn book. Don't do what CB4 did, get on a goddamn show and try to show some black connection. We got to destroy this narrative that the black connection is you had to sell some dope. You had to body a nigga. How come being a real nigga means you kill niggas? 
How come they're celebrated so goddamn much if we love black people so much? How come we got a no snitch uh, clause for people who murder babies? And civilians think they ain't supposed to snitch. What kind of culture is that? If you a damn civilian, you on the sidewalk, there's no such thing as snitching. That's called saving these babies from these jackasses. This shit don't make no sense. That's why they give you rappers so much jewelry, so much glitter and gold. Because they know all your friends are expendable to you. You will send them at everything like a missile for a 15 cent. These are the people that's taking your mama's sons off the street. Some effeminate guy that can't handle his own goddamn business will go call some other young guy that he got some money in his pocket for. And this guy will go kill and steal and rob for this punk. If I was you, if I was you rapper's daddy or mama and I was a young man that's hanging with you, I wouldn't let him hang with your motherfucking ass because I know you don't give a fuck about him. Majority of you, not all of you. This is an agenda. Men don't talk like this. Who the fuck just sit around? Hypothetically, if if there's an outbreak, a herpes outbreak, and there's a goddamn uh, uh, AIDS outbreak, uh, I'm going to just go fuck a sheep. Nigga, uh-uh. There's some men out there be mowing through herpes. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? Well, shit, you don't die with herpes, so fuck it. You going to go to a sheep and to a man? How about put on a rubber? There was a lot of different options that you could have thought about before you went to a sheep or a man. There's things that I would have brought up first. Man, this is a ritual right in front. How long y'all been doing it? We got to date this goddamn show back. And we got to see when allegedly p diddy took over this show because we got to know all of a sudden we seeing all this goddamn shit in front of our children and it ain't just because it's a gay thing it's because it's an inappropriate thing there's things that heterosexuals could talk about in front of the masses that i would feel uncomfortable with because my goddamn daughter might can see this shit and she's not age appropriate to see it, whether it's a straight situation or a gay situation. So stop trying to make it seem like we can't speak on you doing something inappropriate just because it's a gay situation. It's about behavior. And these kids don't need to see that type of behavior, straight or gay. So clean your act up. You ain't going to use that. Oh, I'm gay. So I just get to act like a fucking jackass. No, you gay, but you a human fucking being. And it's high time we start acting like it. They don't give you a right to do this shit you're doing on TV. This is bullshit that I'm seeing. Now let, let, let's let this little patch eye demon finish because nobody asked you what you would do if, if a herpes, out, herpes, uh, herpes outbreak or HIV outbreak. Nobody gives a fuck about you enough to know what you want to do. So why is you having this conversation on a fucking national stage? You might want to take your punk ass to one of your back rooms and put that apple in your mouth and have a conversation around the motherfuckers you around. Stupid motherfucker you. No wonder you got that book deal. How many more deals you got now so you can lead these goddamn black boys astray? They're going to give you deal after motherfucking deal as long as you keep your mouth open, they ain't, bitch. You a sick, sorry son, bitch. This is sad. And we call this freedom. Them white boys got more of a chokehold on us than we ever thought. We ain't in the stem cell research. We ain't we into rapping and hooping. And then they telling our athletes to shut up and dribble. And then they got this stupid ass uh, uh, yard dog that's lowering everybody's contract with Stephen A. Look at the way he just talked about the white kid from uh, L.A. Uh, no offense to you, my brother, but you are an example. He got caught with marijuana, allegedly, and other paraphernalia, allegedly. And Stephen A. Smith just dismissed it as weed. Really? Another one. But boy, when it was the mother brothers, I might need to go on self-talk page and play that. 
but I'm just trying to get my sense about myself after that disgusting shit I just saw. And it's making me think everything I've seen earlier up until this point has been fake. Like P. Diddy leading the charge, telling us to vote or fucking die. But then on the next end, going on goddamn podcast, talking about how he want to party with people and getting all close up on them, making me feel uncomfortable. See, is that the only way the black male can get on? That's the only way the black male can get on. To have a feminine tongue to disrespect his own kind, hurt his own kind, or be a feminine as a motherfucker. Well, we're going to time out for that shit. You motherfuckers talking about vote or die, you can kill that noise. We want them motherfucking trade schools for these black boys. We tired of you building your prisons off the dysfunction of these black males. We tired of you talking about everybody else but these black boys, that two or three dropping in damn near every city. We want black male reparations now. We don't want you to add a goddamn thing else in it. Black males have been overlooked long enough. Where is your programs for the black boys? We want to see some T-shirts called Black Boy Magic. Matter of fact, I'll start the charge. We're going to make some uh, black sun dads, some sun dads. We're going to show some shit that these little boys are appreciated as well. Because how in the fuck can you have children in a home with a woman that has no father around and then you only going to praise his goddamn sister? You tell me what kind of psychological trauma that's happening in that little boy's mind. But y'all know that already. That's why you do it. You know that already. You ain't dumb, are you? It's probably why you've been fucking with my phone, my YouTube, my email, and everything else about me, trying to find something about me so you can destroy a movement, but you can't. Because this ain't about me. This is about you and what you're doing. And everybody in the YouTube world and everybody around the world is starting to see that these little figurehead punk ass bitches that y'all got in place to talk bad about black feet people, we're going to start talking about them just like they the white man. And I'm going to keep attacking their ass verbally just like they the sworn enemy because they are. You ain't going to just talk so nice about a young man getting a weed charge and then turn right back around before that. You were talking about Zach Randolph, uh, Josh Gordon, and everybody damn Man, you know what? Let me find Because I think your words are goddamn do you some more justice, you little punk bitch, you. Tired of this shit. Since everybody want to say I'm crazy. Know what the fuck your ass doing. 